Oxyacetylene flame results from ignition of the gas mixture which flows out of the torch nozzle. The flame is composed of the flame cone and the outer flame. In the flame cone, a partial combustion of acetylene takes place with the oxygen supplied from the cylinder. In the outer flame, the complete combustion of the gas takes place with oxygen from the air. The maximum temperature is approximate 3,200 degrees Celsius at a distance of 2 to 5 millimeters after the flame cone. The welding flame not only has the task of melting the surfaces to be joined and the filler material but also of protecting the weld pool against negative influences from the air. Types of oxyacetylene flames An oxyacetylene flame will are having three types. 1. Neutral, 2. Oxidizing and 3. Carbizing. What is neutral oxyacetylene flame? A neutral flame is achieved when there are equal amounts of oxygen and acetylene. A neutral flame is so named because it has no chemical effect on the molten metal. Key characteristics of a neutral flame are a defined cone flame at the base of a long feather flame. If the correct size of nozzle is being used a neutral flame should produce no more than a gentle hiss. A neutral oxyacetylene flame is used for welding, brazing and silver soldering most metals and is therefore the most common type of flame to use. A neutral flame is also used for oxyacetylene cutting. What is an oxidizing flame? An oxidizing flame is where there is more oxygen than acetylene used. Key characteristics of an oxidizing flame are a small, sharp, more pointed looking cone flame at the base of a shorter feather flame. An oxidizing flame will have a distinct roar. Use of a slightly oxidizing flame is more specialized, typical uses are for welding copper and zinc based metals or manganese steels. In these cases, an oxidizing flame creates base metal oxide that protects the base metal. What is carbizing flame? A carbizing flame is where there is more acetylene than oxygen used. Key characteristics of a carbizing flame is a secondary feather flame, caused by the excess acetylene burning further down the flame length. If the correct size of nozzle is being used a carbizing flame should produce no more than a gentle hiss. Use of a carbizing flame is more specialized, typical uses are for welding lead, surface hardening processes or welding high carbon steels.